Hello guys, recently on Upwork I saw this project for multi-sided real estate platform. And this is a very big project, but then I saw three kind of user spaces. So consumer accounts, service provider platform, and then marketing tools for admin. And I thought, isn't it a typical structure for marketplace, like a few rows outside of admin panel? and then internal system admin panel separately. And I decided to build a very simplified version of the structure of that project, which I called three-sided marketplace. And this is how it looks. This is just the skeleton, the structure without really functionality, but the routes, the controllers, the permissions, the structure for folders and namespaces. So for example, if I'm logged in as a home user, home owner user, I can manage my properties or view service requests from service providers. If I, for example, log in as a consumer, I have these menu items, property search, service providers, the list of them, and then something for learning. Again, this is empty functionality, but controllers, routes, and views all are there. And also separately as slash admin, there's a separate filament admin panel. So only administrators can log in there and manage stuff like users, maybe projects, maybe something else. So you get the idea separate admin panel for system users. And the idea is this, that filament is great for kind of hidden from public admin panels, internal tools where you don't really care about branding and design. It's mostly with tables and forms, kind of CRUD like structure. But for public facing website, if some user logs in, imagine something like booking.com or similar website in here, you would like to have more control over visuals and branding. This is why it's outside of admin panel with a different design based by the way on our Laravel daily starter kit, which is just blade with no view live wire or react required. I will link that starter kit in the description below if you want to try it out. So now let's take a look at the code, how it all works. In fact, even before the code, I will show you kind of the overview diagram I created with Mermaid and then export it to Mermaid chart. So these are three user areas, public facing and admin panel is kind of a separate thing. But also one important thing, one of the roles may have access to multiple things. So as a homeowner, I may be also a consumer to search for other properties. So that's why on the left side, you see homeowner mentioned twice. So let's dive into the code. First thing that we see is routes web and the common routes for all the users, which is home dashboard, then settings profile, which comes from starter kit. But then down below, we have four different files. Auth PHP comes also from the starter kit and takes care of registration and login and forgot password and stuff like that. But then these three are about different roles. So here's routes consumer file with dashboard controller and other controllers with namespace of slash consumer. And we'll talk about controller namespace in a minute. For now, let's focus on the roles and middlewares and protection of the routes. So in this route group, as you can see, in addition to auth, there's role and then comma separated roles that can access that route group where those strings are coming from. For roles in this system, we have special enum user role with those potential values. And in the database, each user has role column with string value of the role. And you may maybe think that this is not efficient. It would be better to have roles table than role ID here or user role pivot table, but it depends on the scenario. So let me explain the choice here. The enum user role is kind of a strict list of roles. So if in the future new role appears, just looking at this code, it would be not efficient, not enough to just add a roles table record like secretary or guest or something like that. As you will see in a minute, new role means a lot of things. New route file, new namespace, new controllers, new everything separated by subfolders. So for new role to appear, this would be the central place to control the roles, the PHP file of enum. And then those strings are kind of the final frontier defining the role. So for example, in the user model, a few methods to check is consumer is homeowner and others which are used later in policies, I will show you. So these constants 
from enum are used in all the code. Again, this is one option to do that. You may prefer using something like Spati Laravel permission package and do more granular permission check. But just for separating the roles, this is my choice, enum, and then in each route file, middleware role. Now, what is that middleware role? This is the custom middleware class with handle method checking. If the roles correspond to the current user role, then it's fine. If not, abort 403 unauthorized. And then that middleware is registered in bootstrap app file of Laravel like this. This is where we have the alias from role and then parameter of one role or comma separated multiple roles. Also in the routes, you may see a few more things. So prefix app defines the URL of all those routes below. Then consumer dot is how we define, how we reference the route names in all the links. And then as you can see inside, controllers are with namespaces and this is actually our next topic, controllers. On the left, you can see subfolders, which are actually namespaces. So we have consumer controllers, homeowner controllers, and service provider controllers. Again, this is outside of Filament. So Filament admin panel lives in its own app Filament resources. But this is public, three roles. And in each controller, for example, we can navigate to homeowner project controller, the namespace here. So this is the separation of controllers. And then each controller method returns blade view, as I said, without functionality, just as an example. And here again, we have namespace. In case of blade files is not namespace, it's a subfolder, but still we can see on the left resources views. And then again, subfolders, for example, home owner. And then inside you may or may not have more subfolders for, for example, resourceful controllers and CRUD structure or for example, for consumer, it may be just index blade, and then it depends on the functionality. Again, I try to create the structure without the deeper functionality. I hope you get the idea of the structure. So subfolders for controllers and blade view files corresponding to roles. Also a few examples of policies which are used in the filament admin panel. So project policy looks like this. So for example, only admin and owner can view the project. And this is homeowner or admin to create a project. And this policy may be used in filament, for example, for user is admin check, or also on the public side in the controllers where homeowners log in. So this is where you may define more granular permissions to manage the projects or properties or other objects. If you want to get more granular, then probably it would make sense to go into Spati Laravel permission package and create more permissions. In this particular project, I didn't dig deeper into that side. I kind of stopped at controllers, blade views, and routes protected by role middleware. And then finally, of course, in the blade, in the navigation, in the sidebar blade in this case, we have if statements, and this is where those methods are used from user model. So is consumer, is homeowner, and in this case, we are showing or hiding various menu items like consumer properties, index consumer, this consumer, that, then another group is consumer, but also accessible to homeowner. So the logic may be a bit more complicated than just one set of menu items per row. This is, for example, service provider group of menu items. And of course, this is all protected by automated tests. So for example, role middleware test, consumer can access consumer routes, then homeowner can access homeowner routes, and so on. Also, provider cannot access something. Then there's also navigation test for this particular user. Do they see menu items like these? So then if you run PHP artisan test, you may be kind of sure, not 100%, of course, but you can simulate the situation for various user roles in the automated tests instead of clicking that manually every time to test. So yeah, this is the overview of the project. If you want the full source code, I have put it as usual in our Laravel daily project examples section on top here. There it is, Laravel three-sided marketplace. So you can access that GitHub repository. This is for premium members of Laravel Daily. This is in addition to our courses on the platform. And currently until Monday, until December 1st, it's still Black Friday with 40% off yearly or lifetime membership, which includes the access to all those GitHub repositories 
to the demo projects and I will create more of them in upcoming months. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.